The spaceship is complete and ready for takeoff. All right, Gohan, just let me know when you're ready to launch. We won't be back on Earth anytime soon, so make sure you've got everything you need. R right! a few final checks and make my way over to Kame House. You go ahead and meet up with Krillin and the others. With their preparations for the journey to planet Nemec complete, everyone has gathered at Kame House. <laughs> What's with the hair, Gohan? My mom thought I should look more presentable. You know, when meeting an entire alien race for the first time. Ah, uh, okay. Man, your mom sure is strict. We're counting on you. Don't come back until you've found those Dragon Balls. On it. Bye, Grandpa. Bye, Mom. Write me every day, Gohan! All right, time for takeoff. Watch out, Planet Namek, here we come! Meanwhile, just as Bulma and the others left for Planet Namek, Vegeta, back and fully recovered from his fight on Earth, learned of his Commander Frieza's absence. Frieza was on his way to planet Nemec with his most elite subordinates in tow. He was in search of the Dragon Balls that he learned of from Vegeta and the others on Earth. His goal? To wish for immortality. Vegeta hurriedly made his way to Nemec in an effort to catch Frieza and stop him. If Frieza is able to attain immortality, the universe is history! I'm not going to let that happen. Those Dragon Balls are mine! Meanwhile, 34 days after Bulma and the others left Earth, they finally arrived at their destination. Planet Namek. We did it! We actually made it to Planet Namek! Hmm, this place kind of reminds me of where Piccolo trained me back on Earth. No use waiting around, let's find those Dragon Balls. Oh, hey, check this out! I'm picking something up. No doubt about it, it's a Dragon Ball! You're right! Woohoo! <laughs> All right! All right! We found, we found, one. found, we one. found one! Huh? Krillin, do you feel that strong energy over there? Huh? Man, you're not kidding! It's massive and it feels crazy strong! And there's something kind of evil about it, too. Uh, what's going on? There's nothing to freak out about. Besides, look at the reading I'm getting over there. The radar's picking up four Dragon Balls all in one spot. Uh, yeah, you're right. 
<laughs> it's probably just some Namekians. We got nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> right? <laughs> Power level, they'll know we're here. He, yeah, it's Vegeta. Looks like it's just him. I am not letting you get your filthy hands on those Dragon Balls, Frieza. Yeah! Bulma, let the others know what's going on, and then head back to Earth. We'll stay here and gather the rest of the Dragon Balls. Gohan, sound good to you? It, yeah. Uh, okay, I'll get a hold of Master Roshi and fill him in first. Once I'm back, I'll pick Goku up and bring him here. I should be back in about two months. <laughs> Right. Two months. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, another one? Hold the phone. What's another one of those things doing here? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I want to know. We found it, Lord Frieza! Excellent work. Now only three remain out of my grasp. <laughs> Take care not to lose that, Dodoria. It seems Vegeta is looking for the Dragon Balls as well. Yes, sir! Uh, pardon me. Lord Frieza, Kui has just intercepted Vegeta. Has he? My, that was fast. In addition, uh, the two large power sources from earlier have suddenly disappeared as well. I will make my way to their location and investigate. I should be able to identify them shortly. Very well, but I'm more concerned about ridding myself of that traitor Vegeta. What a shame. I didn't think him foolish enough to turn against me, let alone attempt to steal the Dragon Balls for himself. We should be on his way to dispose of Vegeta. Should be interesting. Those two have long hated each other. They are roughly equal in power, I believe. So I assume it'll take a fair bit of time. You're not going anywhere, Vegeta. I'm going to enjoy blowing you to pieces. Make sure to let Goku and the others know. Thanks. All right, I'm heading back to Earth now. Good luck, you two. I'll be back with Goku as fast as I can. Huh? Krillin! Someone's coming! Huh? Is it the Saiyan? No. It's not Vegeta. It's someone weaker. Probably a Namekian. It should be right around here. Huh? Look, what the hell is that? What? Oh, those aren't Namekians! They don't look like Namekians! Who the hell are they? Their power levels are a joke! They're nothing but trash! I guess it's just some Taurus, huh? Well, anyway, we got orders to annihilate everyone on the planet. It wouldn't be much fun if they got away. So let's take care of that spaceship of theirs. Sounds good to me! No! That starship! <laughs> Sucks to be them! Guess they were in the wrong place at the wrong time! Okay, go on. 
Feel free to let loose on these guys. They're nothing compared to you. Here goes. Right. Gohan. Nice going. There's nothing nice about this. Uh, Lord Frieza, it seems like those two power sources from before may warrant more of our attention. They raised their power levels almost instantly and then vanished after defeating two of our scouts. That is indeed strange. I highly doubt it's Vegeta's doing. Correct, my lord. It can't be Vegeta. The sources each have a power level of about 1,500. 1,500, is that right? Hardly anything worthy of our concern, wouldn't you say? They do seem rather unruly. If you happen upon these two, eliminate them. Let us leave Vegeta's destruction to Queen. You hear that, Vegeta? That was a direct order from Lord Frieza. I finally get to kill you. Don't make me laugh, Queen. Do you actually think you can beat me? <laughs> Are you blind, Vegeta? Take a look at your scouter. You'll see my power level is leagues above yours. <laughs> in no time. Thank you. 
<laughs> you must really have a death wish. Coming at me like this? <laughs> You've lost your edge, Vegeta. You don't stand a chance against me with a power level like that. <laughs> don't be disappointed. You're in for a treat. You see, I've managed to learn a little new trick during my time on Earth. <laughs> like what? How to run away? Like how to control my power level! <laughs> no way! 90, 20, 21, 22,000! <laughs> This must be some sort of error, but I set my scouter to Vegeta's coordinate, and it's showing a reading of more than 22,000. Did you say 22,000? That's an older model scouter, isn't it? Here, I'll get a more accurate reading with mine. <laughs> Impossible! It can't be! Is my scouter broken? But it's a newer model! The reading's up to 24,000! Are you... <laughs> Die! We're supposed to be equal in power! You fools! God broke stronger than me! that I fought. The most recent one on Earth pushed me to the brink of death. Don't think for a second that a pampered peon like you could never be my equal. Idea. Uh, 
I'll help you fight Frieza. We can take him on together. <laughs> <laughs> like him anyway. What did you say? You're so pathetic. You have pissed me off for the last time. Prepare yourself! Fireworks. Vegeta's power level from before. The 24,000 reading, it was real. Oh, I don't believe it. He just took out Kui. I'm hardly surprised at this. How soon you forget. Vegeta is a highly experienced fighter in every right. Not to mention foolish. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't seem to know his error and so brazenly defying me. Lord Frieza, the scouter shows there are about ten Namekians in that direction. Very good. Let's hope they have what I'm looking for. The fifth Dragon Ball. Let's pay them a visit. Get away from this place. We're sitting ducks out here. We should try to find a place to hide. Maybe in a Namekian house or a cave or something. We'll try to figure something out. I'm, I'm sure the Namekians can help us fix our ship, right? I wish I could be as optimistic as you two. right now, but I can't, and give away my location.
look really strong. Hey, this... here I go. said not to fly, but boy, do I really want to fly now! Yeah. I feel the same way. But we can't, Krillin. So, how long do we have to stay in a creepy place like that? Huh? Krillin, do you sense that power over there? Uh, yeah, I do. But... It's not like the others from before. This time it might be Namekian. Huh? Hide! There's some strange energy headed this way. What are you doing, Bulma? Hide! Those guys we beat up earlier weren't alone! Huh? It's them! favor and check the dragon radar, please? You said four of the Dragon Balls were in one spot, right? Well then, it's possible that those guys... Uh, yeah! That explains it! They have the four Dragon Balls! Yeah, that's what I thought. Go on, did you feel it? Y yeah, their power was incredible! Whoa, Th that small guy, he, he might actually be stronger than Vegeta. Whoa, stronger than Vegeta? No way. <laughs> cool, man. Wait, how are we supposed to get the Dragon Balls from those guys? Once Master Roshi learned of the situation on Namek from Bulma, he informed Goku right away. Goku, who was eager to help his friends, then asked Dr. Briefs to build him a spaceship. Dr. Briefs modified the ship Goku arrived in as a child and gave it enough power to reach planet Namek in just six days. After bringing himself back up to fighting condition with some sensu beans, Goku left for Planet Namek. All right, I'm off! I'd better get training with this gravity machine right away. After all, I've only got about six days to get stronger than Vegeta. Hey, you guys! Those creeps from before are heading straight for the Dragon Ball! Uh, hey, that's... Wait a minute! Th that's right back where Krillin thought that the Namekians were approaching us! 
Okay, I'll head over there and check things out. I'm going too. Uh, wait a second! Huh? Are you just gonna leave me here by myself? Well, it'll be a lot safer for you here. Actually, you might be right. Fine. I'll just open up a capsule home here in the cave and wait for you guys. Go on. Make sure you lower your power as much as possible. Right! Freezer's Horrible Henchman. <laughs> Namekian villages here? Well, if they are, we need to hurry and find them before it's too late. <laughs> Go on, you know the deal, right? Yeah. No energy bl- Right? Yeah. No energy blasts are flying, right? That's right. We have to move undetected. Going on down there? They look just like Kami and Piccolo. Ah, they must be Namekians! First introductions. I am Frieza. I'm looking for the Dragon Balls. And if I'm not mistaken, I do believe one of them can be found here. We we don't have anything like that. <laughs> it takes a great deal of courage to lie to me with a power level like yours. Uh, the, that device, that must be how they're able to find what few villages are spread across the planet. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you know, the other elders were all too willing to provide me the information I need. W willing? That's impossible. Well, they did require some convincing. Zabon, show how persuasive we can be. Sir. <laughs> Perhaps you understand now. If you insist on being this difficult, those young ones over there will be the next to die. <clears throat> They're monsters! How terrible! What do you intend to do with the Dragon Balls? Why, I'll make a wish, of course. 
Nothing too extravagant, mind you. Just immortality. <sighs> Even if these monsters manage to gather the Dragon Balls, they still might not be able to make their wish. I, I suppose we have no choice. But promise me one thing. Promise me you won't lay a hand on the children. Of course. Mind you, you could have saved yourself all this trouble by doing this sooner. Now, take this and be gone. Well, I have it. Perhaps you can tell me something. Say the location of the two remaining Dragon Balls. If memory serves, you need seven of them to make a wish, isn't that right? Don't be ridiculous. We Namekians are not in the business of endangering our own kind. And just when I thought you were less foolish than the rest, I suppose I have no other recourse but to kill you and the children. Get out of here, Dende! No! Scouters! Now you won't be able to hunt us down anymore! You're all dead! It's not much fun killing small fries like you. But you gotta die sooner or later. That's enough! What? what? Who the hell are you? I'm gonna make you pay for what you did! Hey, go on. Even if we take them together, these guys are way out of our way. Your chance, go on. No way. It worked! 
Go on. Hide! What? Oh, right! <laughs> you little twerps! Where the hell you go? Uh. <sighs> We're safe! All right. We need to head back to Bulma fast. Hey, can you fly? Oh, uh, um, yes. T thank you for saving me. So, um, what's your name? I'm Dende. Hmm? One of Frieza's goons is on the move. This energy. Is that Tadoria? This is perfect. I can more than handle him all by myself. Taking on Frieza now would be downright suicidal. I have to plan my next moves carefully. For starters, I'll make short work of Dador. Fortune's finally smiling upon me. Ooh, what is this power? Vegeta! Hey there! It's been quite some time, Dodoria. I've waited for you to foolishly leave Frieza aside. Knocking you around should be easy enough without Frieza here. You think you're hot stuff, don't you? Do yourself a favor. Shut up and just hand over that scouter of yours. Do that and I'll let you live just this once. <laughs> Is that so? You went completely radio silent during your attack on the Namekian village, which can obviously mean only one thing. You've lost every single one of your scouters, haven't you? <laughs> How perfect! Now I can make my way over there unnoticed. You want this, don't you? I guess you're not as dumb as you look, Vegeta. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? Why did you break it? You idiot! Don't you realize you're not going to be able to find the Namekians without it? I recently spent some time on a planet called Earth. Believe it or not, they don't require scouters in order to sense power. There was another Saiyan there as well, and he also knew how to use that technique. Which means an elite like myself should easily master it. That's it then, isn't it? Those little runts I was after, they were Earthlings. What are you doing, teaming up with those punks? What Earthlings? What the hell are you talking about? There's no way Earthlings could be out here. Enough of this nonsense. Stop wasting time and come at me already. I see what's going on here. You've come to realize just how much stronger I've gotten, and now you're too afraid to fight me. You saw my power level on your scouter before, didn't you? 
That number wasn't accurate. My scouter was busted. What are you so afraid of? Go on, try and attack me! Who do you think you are? You're not better than me! We say it grows stronger with every battle we fight. The stronger the opponent is, the stronger we become after the fact. My new death experience on Earth greatly increased my power. That's what it means to be a mighty Saiyan warrior. you in on a little secret, but it ain't so little. It's a big one. It's about the home of your people. It's about planet Vegeta. What? What is it? Spit it out. You've probably heard all this before. How planet Vegeta was destroyed by some huge meteor, right? But that's not the truth. What happened is a bunch of crazy strong Saiyans like yourself started cropping up all over the place. And the more powerful they got, the more they didn't see the point in following orders from anybody. Lord Frieza lost trust in you guys, and because of that, he felt he needed to lay down the law. And oh, did he! Lord Frieza ended up not just destroying planet Vegeta, but every single Saiyan himself. But you know, Vegeta, you should be grateful. Lord Frieza saw a lot of potential in you, too much to waste, so he made sure to destroy the planet when you weren't there. <laughs> I bet that was a lot to take in, huh? You're wrong about that, Dodoria. I couldn't care less about my planet, my comrades, or even my parents. But what infuriates me to no end is how I let myself be used all this time by bastards like you! Thinking about it makes me sick to my stomach! <laughs> You're on freeze! Ah! 
Freeze is terrified of the limitless potential of a Saiyan's power. If what I heard on the Scouter is to be believed, then all seven Dragon Balls are needed in order to make a wish come true. First, I'll get my hands on the two remaining Dragon Balls. No, one should be more than sufficient. If I can hide even just one of them, Frieza and his lackeys won't be able to make their wish a reality. Then all I have to do is wait until their guard is down and steal the rest of them. <sighs> We're finally back. Well, you guys certainly took your time, didn't you? <laughs> uh, took your time. <laughs> huh? Uh, who's the pocket-sized Piccolo? Oh, he's Namekian, isn't he? What's your name, little guy? Y yes my name is Dende. Huh. It looks like you guys have been through a lot. Oh yeah, that's right! I've got great news from my dad! Really? That's great! Goku's on his way here as we speak! He should arrive in about mm, six days. And I hear he's toughening himself up. My... my dad's coming? Hooray! Yahoo! Six days remained until Goku would arrive on planet Nemec. Goku! Can you hear me, Goku? Wait. Huh? Where are you? Are you in space? Oh, that's right! You're heading to Namek. Good luck finding the Dragon Balls! Wait a minute. You mean you don't know what's going on? There's some crazy stuff going down on Namek. Crazy stuff? Well, we can talk about that later. I've actually got some guests here with me. In fact, it's for people you know quite well. Wait, you don't mean... They've asked me to train them even harder than I trained you. Hey, Goku, you hear me? We met up with Kami in the other world, and he told us all about this place. You said there's four of them there, right? So that's Yamcha, Tien... Wait, is Piccolo there too? <laughs> I'm not about to let you be the only one that gets stronger in all of this. Chaozu's here with us too! Kami pulled some strings and let us have our bodies back so we can train here. Pretty cool of him, huh? That's awesome! Glad to hear it! <laughs> I'm doing a bit of training myself on the way to Namek. I had my spaceship customized to simulate a hundred times gravity for some extra intense training. But if I don't get stronger in the next five days, I'm gonna be in some pretty big trouble. You mentioned that before. What exactly is going to happen? What? Whoa, hold on. You mean there's someone out there that's stronger than Vegeta? Wait, you're not talking about Frieza, are you? Beats me. I didn't hear anything about a Frieza. You know him, King Kai? L listen, Goku. If it's actually Frieza, then stay far away from him. Get on his bad side and you're begging for trouble. 
I'm telling you, not just for your own safety, but for the safety of Earth, Namek, and every other planet in the universe! Is, is he really that strong? I kind of want to meet him now. Do not go anywhere near him! You hear me? I'm looking for some sort of elder. I'm here to retrieve the Dragon Ball. <laughs> Battle for the Dragon Ball. bunch of energy just started disappearing. Really? M more Namekians are being killed! And the one doing the killing has a very familiar energy. Uh, it's Vegeta! Now it's not just Frieza we gotta worry about wishing for immortality, but Vegeta too! If we can find one of the Dragon Balls and hide it, Neither of them will be able to make their wish. But... but they'll just continue killing Namekians until they find all the Dragon Balls! N no but Who are you people? Where did you come from? And how do you know about the Dragon Balls? Please, if you can, save my people! Yeah, about that. If you already know, I think... I think I understand what's going on now. Come on, follow me. I'll take you to see Grand Elder Guru. Huh? Uh... Grand Elder Guru? Why are we headed there? Those monsters that attacked our villages already have four Dragon Balls. Not only that, didn't you say that there are more people being killed over there? Uh, yeah, I think I know who did it. Vegeta. Th their energy. It's all gone. There's no one left. Th then... Then that means there aren't many Namekians left on this planet. Ugh. Oh, man. Even if we find the Dragon Ball in the village that Vegeta attacked, that still leaves one. Wait, does Grand Elder Guru have the last Dragon Ball? Y yes Not good! If Vegeta reaches him before us, he'll get his hands on the seventh Dragon Ball! W we have to hurry and let Guru know! I'll go with Dende. Gohan and Bulma, you two wait here. There's no point in all of us going, okay? W right! Be careful, you guys! <laughs> so this must be a Dragon Ball. Fascinating. It must be kept safe. Time to hide it. No one could possibly find it as long as it remains at the bottom of this lake. If it's true that Frieza and his worms have five, that means just one is left out there. <laughs> this power. It's Zarbon. I'm sure of it. <laughs> it would appear that he's finally off that leash of his. He'll be joining the Dory soon enough. In This way, huh? In my current state, Zarbon is no match for me. All 
I need to do now is finish off the rest of Freeze's pathetic goons. Then the Dragon Balls are as good as mine. <laughs> Easy prey. We wouldn't have to split up and find the villagers if we just had our scouters. Well, look at that, if it isn't Zarbon. You know, I ran into your friend Dodoria earlier. He's super dead, and soon you will be. What? You beat Dodoria? So that's why he never came back. I can't believe this. I hear you've lost all your precious scouters and had to split up to look for Namekian villages. Which can only mean Frieza's holding on to the Dragon Balls you obtained so far. Damn you. Frieza will not get his dirty hands on all of them. I'll make sure of it. I've already found one myself, and the others are as good as mine. What? As I can attain immortality. Raise me as good as dead. Immortality won't be enough to best your life. The battles I fought afforded me some of the greatest power. You still don't get it, do you? Lord Freezer's power is beyond anything you could ever imagine. You couldn't lay a finger on me! <laughs> You've improved. I'll give you that much at least. But you don't seem to realize the mistake you've just made. You have awakened my true power. You've got quite a sense of humor. Go on, show me your power! You are going to regret this, Vegeta. Prepare to be amazed by my glorious transformation! Pretty foolish. You went to all that trouble to grow stronger, and for what? Nothing. And here's something else you probably didn't know. Lord Frieza also hides his true power behind transformations. Oh, he passed out. I'm afraid I can't let you die just yet. I still have a lot to ask you. I can't believe I'm actually providing aid to a traitor like you. Once you're fully conscious, you're going to tell me where you've hidden the Dragon Ball. There it is! That's Guru's house! That's it? Hey, Nail! You're okay! 
I'm glad to see you're safe, Dende. Grand Elder Guru is aware of your situation. You two may enter. Grand Elder Guru will see you now. Uh, he's huge! Welcome, young Earthling. I understand I have you to thank for saving my little Dende here. My gratitude. Uh, well, I really didn't do much. It pains me that most of my children on this planet have fallen victim to such vile invaders. I had no idea the Dragon Balls, the very symbols of Namekian wisdom and power, could cause such strife. Uh, forgive me for cutting straight to the chase, but do you think I could borrow the one that you got right there? Look, I won't let the bad guys get their hands on it. I promise! I'd like him to have it as well. If the Earthlings get the Dragon Balls, they can wish for theirs to return to Earth. What? What? There are Dragon Balls on Earth as well. Is, or was, there a Namekian there? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about one coming to Earth in order to flee some sort of crisis here on Namek. It must have been Kata's child. Truthfully, I'm surprised the child was able to survive the journey. If memory serves me, he was a gifted member of the Dragon Clan, the creators of the Dragon Balls. But how is it he met his end? Did he die of natural causes, or was he killed? He was killed by someone here on Namek, a Saiyan named Vegeta. Young Earthling, please step forward. I would like to look into your past. Huh? My past? My, my goodness. He split himself in two to combat the evil in his own heart. How foolish. To reduce such extraordinary potential is such a waste. If he had remained as one, he might not have met with such a horrible fate. Remained as one? Wait, does that mean if Kami and Piccolo rejoin, Piccolo will get his power back? Very well. I can see that your intentions are pure, and that you have exhibited great bravery thus far. I will entrust this Dragon Ball to you. However, you might not be able to make your wish. Uh, what do you mean? Unfortunately, I am not long for this world. I have perhaps only a few days left. Do you think you can reclaim the remaining Dragon Balls from those horrible fiends? As strong as you are, I fear that might prove impossible. Once I am gone, the Dragon Balls will cease to exist. Uh, I see. Well, I guess we'll just have to do what we can. I'll keep the Dragon Ball and I'll guard it with my life. I appreciate it. I must say, you seem to possess a great deal of strength for an Earthling, but much of it lies dormant and unrealized. How unfortunate. Allow me to release the power resting deep inside you. Wh what are you talking about? There's no way I'm hiding any more power. I mean, I'm already pushing myself to the limit. <laughs> Where did all this power come from? Yeah! I've never felt this kind of power before. This is incredible! Wait. Uh, would it be okay if I brought a friend of mine here to see you? I bet he's got more untapped power than me hidden inside of him. Yes, please bring him here. We could use another ally in the fight for justice. Uh, okay, I'll be right back with him. Now, wait here, Dende. 
I'm gonna go get Gohan, okay? Huh, all right. Be careful! Hey, Gohan! According to the radar, the Dragon Ball over there is on the move! It's heading straight for us! Do you... do you think it's Krillin on his way back? I bet it is! But... um... what about this one? These five here are probably the ones that Frieza guy has. And hey, here's this one all by its lonesome. Wait, that's the village we heard Vegeta was attacking, right? But Vegeta isn't there. I don't sense his energy anywhere near it. Oh, I think I get it. He attacked the village, but he didn't find the Dragon Ball. Let me borrow the radar, Bulma. I'm going to go find that Dragon Ball. Okay, here we go. Hey! Actually... Thank you so much! Perfect! Now's my chance! I'm not sensing any scary energy in the area. That's good. Yeah! Uh, no! 
Uh, let's see. What? Um... Right...
need to work harder. here. in a place like that. Maybe the villagers were in a rush to hide it. What? What was that explosion just now? Oh, it can't be. He's not in the recuperation tank. <sighs> Damn that Vegeta! Where could he be? Find him, Zabon! Find him now! Aha! The Dragon Balls! Looks like five of them are here. And I can't leave this place without all five of them. Looks like time isn't on my side either. Great! I'm going to have to buy myself some time here. It's my turn! No, oh, that filthy Saiyan monkey! Vegeta appears to be after the Dragon Balls! No, oh, the Dragon Balls! Damn that Vegeta! This is inexcusable! You will scour this entire planet and find that traitor! After one hour's time, you do not return to me with Vegeta. Know that your death will be a slow and painful one! Oh, yes, sir. It pains me to say, but it appears Saiyans are capable of more than I initially thought. They seem to grow stronger with each battle they manage to survive. They can't hope to reach my superior level, of course. Still, it might prove prudent to finally rid myself of them once and for all. It would be quite bothersome if I had to deal with a Super Saiyan. It seems it may be time to call the Ginyu Force. Ha <laughs> ha 
Here they are. Yes, yes, I'm untouchable! This is what you get, Frieza! Your Dragon Balls are finally mine! Now that I have these and the one that I hid underwater, that leaves just one to collect, then I'll have all seven! <gasps> this huge power! Is that Zarbon? This was great! I had no idea I had this kind of power! I bet I can make it back to Gohan in no time at all! Oh man, I bet Gohan's gonna get way stronger than me when he beats Guru! The little runt from Earth! Why is he on Namek? <laughs> and he's holding the very last Dragon Ball as well! <laughs> Seems fortune is smiling quite favorably on yours truly today! Oh, damn that Vegeta! Where did he go? Oh, if I don't find him soon, Lord Frieza will have my head! Wait, that... Oh, I've finally found you, Vegeta! A huge power level is on its way here! I guess Zarbon found me. Good! Once I get that Dragon Ball off the pite sized Earthling, I'll finish him off once and for all! Zarbon's probably quite full of himself after the last encounter, which means his guard should be down. One thing at a time. First, I have to get my hands on that Dragon Ball. Krillin! Boma, I told you to hide! It's not safe for you! Is that a Dragon Ball? Wow, those things are huge here! Yeah, I got it from Guru. He's a remarkable person! Oh yeah, that's right. Where's Gohan? I want to take him to see Guru to increase his power level. He left to go look for the other Dragon Ball. The radar showed one in the village Vegeta attacked before. What? Really? What the... this power? No way! Vegeta! You're a long way from home, Earthling. Oh no. I was so focused on my increase in power that I didn't notice him. He's not wearing a scouter. Then that means... He must have learned how to sense power levels without one! That's a nice Dragon Ball you've got yourself there. It would appear that you and I are after the same thing. <laughs> Fortunately for you, I have some business to take care of before I take it. But I'd think twice before doing something stupid like running away if I were you. Huh? There you are. Well, well. You've got some nerve, Vegeta. Thanks to your foolish actions, Lord Frieza has lost faith in me. If you don't give me the location of the Dragon Balls this instant, I'll just have to beat it out of you. You're welcome to try. <laughs> you never learn, do you? <laughs> Guard down. There's nowhere to run, Vegeta! Oh, you 
you. You're already running out of steam. Oh, Zama, I sincerely believe your trip to hell. You have no hope of beating me. Don't underestimate me. Remember when I clung to life by a thread? I bet you regret healing me now, don't you? Something to keep in mind. We Saiyans grow stronger every time we're brought to the brink of death. Uh, oh yeah. That's right. Goku keeps getting stronger after each one of his fights. So, Baldy, what's it going to be? You forking over that ball, or am I taking it? Okay, if I give this to you, uh, do you promise just to take it and leave? <laughs> Fine, why not? There's no point in wasting my time with small fries like you once I have the Dragon Ball. Finally, I will be the one to rule over the universe, not that foolish Frieza! Immortality will be mine! <laughs> we can't just let him have all seven Dragon Balls. Come on, Gohan, we're counting on you. Whatever you do, don't let Vegeta find you! I hope Krillin and Bulma are okay. Better hurry. <sighs> Gotta make sure no one sees me, though. 